everyone this is Samantha and welcome back to my YouTube channel and first and foremost I would like to apologize to all of you for being MIA for a couple months um, the last time you probably saw a video from me was back in May when I was doing my Carter Day in May series but um, we had a, a family emergency and I was dealing with that and I just didn't get a chance to get back to it and you know making videos is fun for me but it's the time consuming so when I have other things going on it's hard for me to devote time to it so anyway I wanted to do a video today just to update and show you I just got a new toy from my craft room in so that's why you see this box right now and I haven't opened it yet I did take it out the brown box but I haven't oh, taken it out of its box so let me show you what I just got oh if I can get the box off okay just take it off then come over here and take it off all right and ta-da I've crossed over I've joined the the other people out there that's into silhouette cameo I guess people that go from the Cricut to the silhouette but I'm not getting rid of my Cricut but I've been watching videos on this machine for a while and I love the uh, flexibility of it so I finally decided I was gonna get one I actually ran across a very good deal on Amazon um, for Black Friday they were doing like the flash deals and after I got on the wait list and kept trying to get one, I finally was able to. So it came in the mail today. And like I said, I haven't opened it. And this actually is a bundle. Whoa, let me see. Sorry. Um, it's called, well, what I thought it, oh, it just says bundle kit on the thing. There we go. So we're going to see what's inside of it. I'm going to go on and open it up. And then, of course, I probably have to learn, before I start doing videos and stuff with it, probably have to learn all about it. So, here we have an important, okay, okay, it's just saying to remove all the tape before you start. And then this side says, oh, get free designs. Thousands of cuttable designs, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All right, so the first thing it looks like I have in here is some tools. This looks like a silhouette hook, which I guess we'll figure out what that is later. And then a, what is this? It looks like, oh, it's a spatula. Okay, it's like a spatula, but I have Cricut tools already, so I don't even know if I'll be using those. And it looks like I have a baggie full of stuff. And I'm sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. So it's just my manual, it looks like, and power cord, my blade, things of that nature. So I'll be opening that up. And over here, oh, okay, here's another cord. Okay. And then we're gonna take this part off and, okay, here we go. We got some, uh oh, I can't grab it. I can't grab it. Some mats. So I do know that it uses a mat similar to the Cricut mat, but I have seen online where you can use it without a mat, so that's going to be interesting. But from what I've read and researched online, the mats for the Silhouette are supposed to be better than the Cricut, so we'll see. So apparently I got two mats with that. And then here is the Silhouette itself. Okay, so I'm going to get it out the box and then I'll show it to you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it all out right here. I'm going to remove the tape and stuff later, but it's very nice. And I went on and took the things out of the bag so I could see what all it is. So apparently this is the, um, the, the AC adapter, the power adapter here. And then this is the cord that you hook up to your computer. And then here is the blade. I have to put that in there. Here is the $10 Silhouette online store card you get. So how cool is that? So I'll probably be using this tonight. My son's over here clapping. <laughs> and then here is the studio um, software. And I have, actually I have a Mac and a PC, so I'm hoping it works fine in the Mac. I think from what I've seen online, a lot of people have used their Mac with it. So I'll be loading this on my computer soon. And then we also have an instructional video. So that'd be cool. I'll probably watch this tonight. My son's excited, so he'll probably watch it with me. <laughs> and then, what is this? Oh, register my silhouettes cameo. So I'll be taking care of that. And this is probably the manual, but I don't read manuals. Who reads manuals? No, so I... put that to the side. I'm gonna watch YouTube videos. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get this all plugged up and cut on so we can see it. And then hopefully I'll be able to do something with it tonight so I can show you guys 
what it does. Okay, so I'll be right back again. Okay, I've got it all plugged in and the power source is on this side along with the cord for the computer. And this is an SD slot, so we're going to get a chance to play around with that and see exactly what you could do with that. But So let's cut it on. And I said I didn't need a manual, but I'm probably going to have to look at some stuff. So it's powering up here. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Let's cut it off. So you know what? It did say remove all the tape, so let's do that. I thought I had got all the tape off. Apparently I did not. So let's turn it over here. Oh, there's some tape right here. Ah. Oh, it's like, no wonder I didn't see it. It's like behind. Okay, now, are there any other things in here we need to get out? Look like there is something, like a piece of foam here. How do you get this foam? Okay, get the foam. All right, is that everything now? Okay, let's try it again. Whew. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Okay, there we go, nice and smooth. Okay. Is there anything on the screen here? Okay, the screen says load cutting mat and load media and unload. So, um, hmm. Okay, so let's see. Well, I guess we need to figure out how to put the blade in here. Uh, the blade goes right here, so let me grab that. Okay, so I have the blade right here, and from I end up having to get my book because I don't know what I'm doing. But according to the book, there's like a little chart right here. Mm. Hopefully you can see it. But um, for thin materials, you can use a blade setting of one. For medium weight, you use two to three. For thicker, four to six, and for very thick, I am is seven to ten. So the blade is. Uh oh, I can't get it to zoom in. Sorry, my camera sucks. Um, but the blade's in this little white thingy, and there's this little cap thingy that you put on there, and you turn it to adjust it. So it's not, I guess if you lose this cap thingy, I don't know what happens. But from what I can tell, you just place it in here. Uh oh. No, let's see. Okay, and then you lock it. And then I think, yeah, it's pretty much in there. So I don't know what you do with this. This doesn't sit on top. It doesn't really. So I guess you just put it in a safe. Oh, wait. Does it go here? Nope. Okay. That was stupid of me. I have no idea. Okay. So this is the cap. But I, I, I guess you just put this somewhere. I don't see where you could put it and leave it at. But, um, oh, what did I put this on anyway? I think I put it on. Oh, I put it on six. And six is, I guess, the highest for textured cardstock and pattern paper. So I'm probably going to put it down and um, just to try it out. But um, it's in there. Let's lock it again. So there we go. It's there. So other than that, oh, then it does say that up there to adjust the blade. Um, hmm. Higher numbers expose more blade and are for cutting thicker materials. Lower numbers are for cutting thinner materials so and I think the highest it goes is a 10 so maybe the safest is to keep it on five like maybe in the middle and then if you're cutting like a vellum or something very thin you could lower it um, another thing this says right here is it's saying to slide the rollers so I know if you wanted to use a, a smaller substance and you didn't want to use your mat you could adjust the roller so that it can grab it so I'm assuming that's what that's for so, oh, aha, forgot to get that. Okay, let's make sure we got everything from here. They packaged this thing up really good. But um, so far, I'm impressed with the actual machine. It's simple, you know, and I mean, you know, it doesn't seem like it's got a lot going on. And in here, it's kind of intricate with all of this stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what it could do. Um, Okay, I think I'm going to go on and install the software on my computer and try to do something. My daughter's birthday is Friday, and I think I've convinced her to do some My Little Pony cupcakes for her class. And I think this would really come in handy to make some die cuts of My Little Pony, of all the different ponies, for her cupcake topper, since we're going to make her cupcakes tomorrow um, for Friday. So I think that'll be a good idea. I think that'll be a good first project to try with this. So cross fingers. All right, I'm going to go load it on my computer and I'll be right back. Okay, I have the program installed and here it is. 
and it took a it didn't take very long for it to install and um so uh let's see I'm trying to see what i could do here um hmm looks like under file you have new open open recent merge save save the library save the sd card maybe that'll come in handy when you want to go from here to the print to the to the silhouette without having to use the cord um so we have all of this right here purchase online my library this is my library oh that's where you could put all your your designs maybe that you get from the from the store okay so how do i get out of this and then what else do you have on here? Import to my library, import portfolio, portfolio CD, et cetera, et cetera. And then under edits, normal stuff, objects, we got transform, rotate, style, arrange, all this good stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is figure out a way to get out of this my library. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm back to this part. And since I said I was going to try to do something related to My Little Pony, I'm going to go to Google, to Safari rather. And I'm going to look for my little, oh, if I can spell it right, little pony. And I'm going to go to images and what I want to do, I guess. Oh, here's Pinkie Pie. Let's see. And I think from what, oh, this has a bunch. I think from what everyone has said is you want to make sure that it's a very high resolution image. So I think we're going to try to use this. So I don't know if I, I guess I could save... You know what? Let's open it up first and see what happens. Oh, there's actually a bunch of my... Oh, look at this one. That is cute. Oh, it plays music. Okay. Um, hmm. I will go back. <laughs> can't do... I don't know how to... Because I can't. I guess I could save linked file as... Let's do that. Nope, nope, can't do that. Okay, so let's just pick another image. Hold on. You know what? If I want to get like an isolated one, oh, like here's, oh, here's Rarity. Let's just try to get Rarity. We're going to, hmm, save image as. There we go. Did I miss that last time? I'm going to put this on my desktop. Cause that's where everything goes when I'm saving things. So we're gonna yeah. save it, and then we're going to minimize that. And then I think what I need to do is let's go here and let me see if I can take it. And here's where you are here. And I think I can just take it from here and put it on my. There we go. Okay. So it actually worked like that. So I have my image and I could size it if needed. And I think what I go to next, like I said, this is my first time dealing with this. So let's do that, select trace area. <laughs> I need to select it, that's what that means. And then we're going to do high pass filter off, right? And I'm going to put threshold all the way up. And then we're going to say trace outer edge, I think. And I think if we zoom it in, there's a red line. Yay, I did it. How awesome is that? That is pretty cool. And let's zoom back out. And then I think if I go to this, nope, not that, this, I do an offset, right? Is that it? No, I don't think that's it. Okay, let's get out of that. Um, hmm, go back to trace. So I have the image here. Let's see, I guess if I hit this, nope. I'm so confused. Okay, so I've already traced the area. Okay, if I move her out the way, she's pretty much traced. Let's move her back. 